Good morning, girls. Uh, Mr. Virginet. So it's uh, I'm recording this video. Maybe there may be some issues like uh, uh, electricity or anything. It's better I record it and then I send you the video and then you can uh, uh, view it anytime you want. Okay, so last time, uh, what I've learned, okay, from the student uh, in your class, I gave this as uh, homework, I think so. Okay, then we'll continue. So, uh, how are the products displayed? Traditional, as you know, it is on shelf, whereas e commerce, it's online gallery. Okay, it's, you can put online gallery or you can put uh, on website. Okay, <laughs> now, how are products delivered? This traditional commerce say you take in your vehicle or you carry. Okay, this you mentioned. You, either you put you take in your vehicle or you put you carry to home. Now for e-commerce, it is home delivery. Okay, e-commerce, it is home delivery. Now, what is the mode of payment? Traditional commerce say uh, it's either uh, you put uh, cash slash or debit card. Okay, slash. So, yeah, what I mean is like either it is cash, then you put slash, and then you put debit card. Debit card, like this. You put the answer like this. Let me show you. So, you write here it is cash, slash, debit card. Okay, so this is uh, for traditional commerce. Now, for e commerce, it is, it should be only one thing, it should be credit card. Okay, should be credit card. Good. Okay. This is for e commerce. Now, let's continue. Now, uh, next, now you have this uh, page number nine. We had to do it uh, together actually, but today we are not doing it together. You had to choose which one are the benefits. And which one are the drawbacks? Okay, which one are the benefits and which one are the drawbacks? Okay, well, I'll do it. So first one is that, so here you have to mention all this is about e-commerce. Okay, all this is about e-commerce. So uh, as you can see here, it is related to commerce. We should give which one is a benefit and which one is drawback. You can choose from a variety of products from different countries. So this is a benefit. Not everyone is connected to the internet. This is a drawback. The products received may not be same as ordered. This is a drawback. Okay, you never know what may come. Myself, I got some uh, like three times. I got some huge surprise about the product which was delivered to me. Okay, uh, I ordered it, and then finally, it, it was not the product I was looking for. And now the product came from abroad. Whom I'll contact and everything, I didn't know. But finally, it was kind of a loss. Okay, so that's why it is the product you receive may not be same as ordered. You stay at home and do your shopping. This is a benefit. There is a risk of hacking. I'm sharing that one. Well, yeah. There is a risk of hacking. Yes, this is a drawback. Okay, this is a drawback. It may be difficult to return the goods or get help from the seller. This is what happened to me on three different occasions. This is a drawback. It is easier to and quicker to check the price, uh, the best for the best price. This is a major benefit because you will not be getting the price. See, let's say I want to buy a fridge or I want to buy a microwave. So instead of going to the shop one after the other, what I do, I go online, I access the website of Jikalachan, of Coach Mammoth, of uh, 360, uh, 361, Galaxy. I check all these places online and I'll know their price. So after checking online, I can just buy that product because I'll, I'll be able to compare the different prices in different places. If you find that you're getting like some 800 rupees less in one place, it's better you go to that place. Okay. Now the shop owner saves on the warehouse and the operational costs. Okay. This is definitely a benefit because you don't need actually a shop okay you don't need a shop you can directly uh, 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 sell your products online okay there is a risk of virus infection definitely this is a drawback the product is cheaper definitely this is a benefit 
you may have to wait a long time before you pro, uh, you receive the product definitely My, me i remember i ordered something before the pandemic i received it not uh, not only when the lockdown was over it was like nearly one year later because all the shippings and everything was blocked okay you can shop anytime this is a major advantage anytime you can shop even at two o'clock you can 2 a.m you can shop for something in quotes mammoth or whatever you are not able to try the item before you purchase it this is a one major drawback because let's say you're buying something which is electronic you can try it on the spot it goes to the person checks it in front of you but here you won't be able to check it the moment that you get it the way it is that's it you have to manage it. okay no need to travel to the shop so this is a drawback eh? the, the, the one before the loss is a drawback because you're not able to try the item and finally no need to travel to the shop this is one benefit okay this is one benefit now we'll continue about teleworking try to cover next one okay teleworking as you know right now i'm teleworking right now i'm doing teleworking i'm working from home Okay, uh, you actually, you're doing e-learning. Me, I'm doing a teleworking. That means I have my laptop. I'm, have, I'm recording the session and I'm working from home. Right now, I'm not wearing uh, like shirts, shoes and everything. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just in my, uh, like, like in my home, uh, my house closes. Okay, so I'm relaxed. I'm working from home. I'm safe. I don't need to travel. The big hassle of the traffic in the morning so i'm only online but there are some major disadvantages also because i'm not getting the personal touch that i'll get in the class i'll not be able to monitor you properly i'll not be able to watch who is watching and who is not watching this i'm not be the students will not be able to ask me question also directly so you have teleworking it is something that has advantages but it also has some disadvantages so teleworking means you work from home okay you work from home so it is also another term that we use it's called telecommuting telecommuting it's the same like teleworking that means when you're working from home either it is called work from home or it is called teleworking or it is called telecommuting okay now you need like right now i have a very good internet connection that's why i'm able to uh, record this like do this online at ease but if in case i'm not having a good internet connection this will be a major issue okay another thing i need a laptop for this it will be difficult like using only mobile uh to be able to perform a an a teleworking this is nearly impossible so it's better that we use a laptop or a personal computer now so we should be knowing what are the benefits of teleworking so one for the employers employers i give an example my employer it is the ministry of education whereas me I'm an employee. Get come on, let's say you take an IT company, like uh, you know, but don't know if you have heard about this. We have two companies which are most prestigious in Mauritius in the ICT sector. <coughs> These two companies are Serigion and Accenture. These are the leading ones. These are these are the ones that give the highest salary also. So over there, many people don't go to work on spot. You have so many people, they don't go to work on spot. Okay. They stay at home. Since the pandemic itself, I have so many students. I have oh, many students. I have many ex students are working over there. But they have the option. Like instead of going to the office, they stay at home and work. Because when they'll go there, they'll work on a laptop, they'll work on a computer, and they'll be connected to the internet. So the same thing they can do at home. Even in the office, when they're interacting with their colleagues, they're not interacting directly. They're interacting through mail and through messenger and through video call and everything. So much they have work. So instead of coming to office, they can directly, they can uh, work from home. Now, let me take the example of Accenture. So Accenture is the employer. Whereas a person who works over there, let's say, or any, any person, so that person is an employee. Okay, so remember well the difference between the two, the employer and the employee. Okay, so now what are the benefits for the employer? So they'll save on rental and running costs. 
okay, they save on rental and renting costs because they don't need a very big building. If majority of the of, of the employees are working from home, so the the company does not need to pay bigger rooms like high rental and all. Okay, not only that, to maintain the office, then there is a cost: the cleaner, the the, the dishwashing or like cleaning or whatever thing that is related in an office, they are avoiding this cost. Okay, now next thing. Let's say Serigion itself, like uh, my nieces works over there. Hello, let's say they have to go to the office. So Serigion have to pay them traveling. They have to pay them traveling. So no need. Like uh, when somebody is working from home, the person will not be getting traveling. This is an advantage. So the, the company doesn't need to pay that person traveling. So the company will be spending less. Now, what are the benefits to the employees? Employees who work in that company. They work in a relaxed environment like me just now. No travel costs. I don't need to drive my uh, my vehicle and everything and put uh, fuel in that. Better work family balance. Right now, I'm able to look after my daughter and everything. I'm able to cook break breakfast and everything. So it's not like the rush in the morning like daily. Handicapped person may also work. Like you have handicapped person, people who are not able to work, people who are not able to stand. So they can work from home. They don't need to go to the office. Now, what are the drawbacks? First thing to the employers, they do not have control over teleworkers. Like right now, the rector does not have control over the teach educators who are working. He doesn't do it. So you don't have a control. Whereas in the school, he had, he, he works whole day. He was able to monitor that whether the teachers are working. But right now, he will not do. So this is a drawback to the employee employer now the drawbacks to the employees they do not meet other workers so less social life like remember in the pandemic season less social life this will cre create some irritation this will create some stress also in the like mindset of the people who just works from home okay now another thing they may be tempted to spend time on personal work like so many people like when they're working from home the moment they get the occasion they'll be doing personal stuff okay so this is there now you do this as homework. I'll correct next week. So it is quick test 1.6.2. You do this as homework, don't forget. Now, next one, we go to e-banking. E-banking means, uh, you must have seen, those uh, who stays in Goodlands or have been in Goodlands, the Mbizabe Maoke could MCB, that red bank. Tous les jours in a long lucky. Why? Because as the Bore Boki aussi, C'est majorité man vieille personne qui fait ça maintenant là qui fait. Because these person for any single transaction they go to the bank. So there are so many transactions you can perform without going to the bank. The bank you need it for deposit of money and withdrawal of money. That's it. The remaining works you can do it online. Okay, you need you need to access online so you can have your username and ID or password or whatever. So you can do many things online. What are the things that you can do online related to a bank? You can open and close an account. You can, uh, no, th so, so yeah, this is traditional. This is traditional. This is telling you the difference between traditional and e-commerce. So traditional banking, people were able to open close account. People were able to deposit money, withdraw money. People were able to check balance. People were able to exchange foreign currency. People were able to transfer money. People were able to apply for loan. Whereas on the e-commerce, maybe you will, what are the things that you cannot do on e-banking? This you cannot do. This major you cannot do. That means you cannot deposit and withdraw money. Neither you can exchange foreign currency. But the remaining, you can do everything. You can open and close an account online. You can check your balance. You can transfer money. You can apply for loan. So somebody who is applying for a loan somebody who wants to open an account somebody who wants to check their balance that person doesn't need to go to the bank okay doesn't need to go to the bank definitely so as you can see uh e-commerce e-banking e rather e-banking has changed the uh, like so many people work they work till late at night they don't have the time to go to the bank so they can deal directly with the bank online okay this is also known as e-banking or we also call it internet banking Okay, so what you can do, you can open and close account, you can transfer money. Moi, je connais beaucoup bien, je connais une application appelée Juice, qui beaucoup de Mauritiens servent. This is a transfer money. 
you can do online payments myself i use uh, mighty money i don't know whether you have heard that mighty money i use this is an online platform again like juice i use that to pay all my bills whether it is mauritius telecom whether it is uh cb cb whether it is cwa i pay all my bills using that online payment i can check my account balance so all these things normally are available when you perform e-banking so to be perform e-banking this is also like we need something very secure now to 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 need something very secure what you do you need a user id and you need a password also okay so this password it is very important you don't disclose it to anybody hello then you can make use of this uh, e-banking facility okay now these are the facilities that e-banking gives check balance pay online bills apply for loan print bank statement this i have done many times create new account transfer money so all these features are available so but e-banking also has some disadvantage it does not have any advantage so fair, uh, same now we are going for the customers customers like you me whereas then we are going to the banks so in other words this is the employer this is not the employee this is the customers okay so the benefits here is that you can do the transaction at home you can do your transaction 24 hours a day you know don't need to stand in queues completely truncated this part you can request for a bank statement immediately even if i know some banks they don't give you in, uh, immediately what they do they have to search it and then uh, they charge for that okay but still you can view the bank statement at least you can apply for loan now for the bank what are the advantages it attracts new customers definitely it can be getting customers from all around the world you can operate 24 hours a day okay when needed lesser number of student, uh, employees compared to so we need less number of employees because everything is online when everything is online you won't need the cleaner you won't need the break maid you don't need many people you'll just concentrate only on uh, how to say only the bank okay so like i said here this will also attract for now for the bank okay this will also attract new customers okay it will attract new customers why it will attract new customers because the bank will not be restricted only to local customers the bank will have international customers the bank can operate 24 hours a day the bank will need less number of employees because we don't have the long queues and the bank will save on cost and rent and rent and salary because these systems are online the bank will require less employees so benefit definitely it will be a benefit now the drawbacks of e-banking we have several drawbacks one thing you should know you must have heard that people hack into account i'm not talking about social media account i'm talking about banks many people got uh, like uh, got looted that means people stole their money online directly so if in case we didn't have e-banking would these problems have occurred no actually because of e-banking you have more hacking in the world right now but you should be knowing how to keep your things secure okay so first thing is that now what are the drawbacks first thing is that you need an inter interconnection for that not everybody has internet connection fear of hacking and fraud this is the biggest problem because your account is online it is prone to getting hacked or it is prone to getting fraud in that okay now you know now another uh, another drawback also you need to be very aware of fake email okay because of the bank you'll be getting many email and sometimes when you click you can enter other people's uh, website that has not been sent by the bank now the drawback for the bank to be able to implement such a system is rather expensive maybe the bank is not buying new computers but to implement such a system it's rather expensive now another thing if in case get ma je me trouve une coup de cause parental chez l'argent de ATM et a beaucoup fois je trouve dit out of order so here also if the server that means that the system the network is out of order what will happen the customers will not be able to access the account okay so the website itself is not working so the customers are going they can't do anything okay 
So uh, I gave you uh, this as homework. That means quick test 1.6.2. And now I'll give you more homework. So you do page 14 to page uh, 15, number one and two. Okay. So we finish here. Okay, I'll know whether you have followed the video because uh, I'll be able, I'll be checking, I'll be correcting the homework next week. Now, the week after, that means next week it is the tenth. The next, uh, next uh, week after, that means the seventeenth of February, it will be our first test. Okay, it will be our first test. That means whatever we have done in unit now, unit one. Okay, whatever we have done in unit one, we will be doing that. Okay, whatever we have done in unit one, we'll be doing that. Okay, so not practically anything right now. So it starts from here. The health and safety issues, the computer artery, the precautions, the guidelines, everything. Okay, so you do the homework that I gave you. Next week I'll correct and then remember well, after the week after the Friday, we'll be doing the first assessment. Okay, see you girls. Bye bye.